When I started at Wilson, my boss, Kevin Krishak, charged me with the task of reinventing the basketball. A project like this begins again because we go back to we're always trying to look at what's you know new cutting edge technologies. The technology that really struck me was additive manufacturing because it just enables so much change about the ball that can completely alter the athlete's experience, the way it's made, everything that we care about. The engineers started working together with industrial design. So bringing those two together, we were able to come up with several designs that we then later iterated on that resembled a basketball, felt like a basketball, but also performed like a basketball. And the most important part of the formula is also is the player, right? Because if the player doesn't love it, then it's not going to be a product or a prototype. We met with General Lattice. We made our design with them and it was translated to a digital file that can be read very easily by the printer. We sent that file to EOS. Working with a brand like Wilson is a little bit different for EOS because we are traditionally working with aerospace companies, automotive companies, medical device companies. Additive manufacturing was the right choice for the airless prototype because first off, it's literally the only technology on earth that could bring this concept to life. So what happens is there's a powder bed that's swept across and then a laser almost etches sketches a pattern in two dimensions. And as this process iterates over and over, you end up with a three-dimensional ball. Removing that powder from the ball without damaging the ball is kind of a, like a, an archeological dig. And at that point, the powder is sealed using a smoothing technique, and then dye is penetrated and reacted with the polymeric surface. After that process was complete, we would send the ball to our NBA test facility in Ada, Ohio, where they would put the ball through rigorous testing. This is only a dot on the development path, uh, but we're really excited about the first step that we have here. I mean, that's our goal, that's our job, is to, is to push boundaries, change perceptions of the brands. But this is what we call the one. You know, basically, this is like, let's make one and let people enjoy it and understand where we need to move forward in the future. To see this narrow into one single product and all the decisions be made is just such an incredible process, such a life-changing process for me.